Okay, so now we're going to review the muscles of the forearm. Starting over here, this long muscle leading all the way up here is the brachioradialis. It's uh, covered in a lot of fascia, so just be careful when you're dissecting that out. Um, next to it, we have extensor carpi radialis longus here, which is the one on top, and extensor carpi radialis brevis underneath. They're connected by a tendon here, and they insert at the same place, so it does have two heads, so just be careful not to dissect this out. Next, we have um, extensor digitorum communis and extensor digitorum lateralis. And then finally, on the end here, we have extensor carpi ulnaris. Underneath extensor digitorum communis and extensor digitorum lateralis, we have um, extensor obliquus. Um, sorry, extensor carpi obliquus here, and up here, supinator. And you can kind of see there's a distinction in between the obliquus and the supinator here. Okay. Now moving on to the flexors, starting from the ulnar side, which is the elbow side. We have um, extensor carpi ulnaris, and it has two heads. Now this is usually connected here. So this is one head and this is another. So that's extensor carpi ulnaris. And then this very thick muscle here that's cut right in the middle is palmaris longus. Pull that back a little. Moving over, oh, sorry. And it's a little bit easier if you orient yourself based off of this muscle here, which is the pronator teres. The one right next to it. And you can see it has a nice long tendon down here is flexor carpi radialis. Okay? And then finally, we have flexor digitorum profundus, which has three heads that you can see. So here's flexor carpi radialis right here. Flexor digitorum profundus will be next to it here, here, and here. So one head, two heads, and three heads. And that's it.